Hi, my name is Ferenc and today I'm going to model this parametric tower and it's basically uh, based on three uh, three profiles made in the plan and I'm trying to show uh, or make that model for my uh, uh, Revit student uh, I'll try to make a, a group of uh, a group of uh, steps actually to create this tower each step I will make a specific thing so in my first step I will just make the the model without the adaptive uh, curtain wall system so uh, let's go to rivets and I will create a conceptual mass family In it, I will go to the north elevation, and in the create panel, I will create, uh, let's say, uh, two levels. The highest one, I will go like a uh, hundred and fifty. Let's make it 170. And I will make this like uh, 50. Those levels that you made in the parametric, uh, in the conceptual mass, sorry, it isn't or have nothing to do with the actual levels of the building. It's just for the, uh, for the form itself only. See, that's the three levels, that's one, and that's two, and that's three. Now, on level one, I will draw a rectangle. And I will click on the rectangle once, <coughs> and then on the that line again. And I can make this 40. Same thing here, once. And then twice and make this 40 and then I will move it from the midpoint to this and it's now exactly centered I will use fillet here and I will trim this edge into a 5000 same as this this 10 <clears throat> and this is 20 So let's say that that's the shape of my building. I will copy it, yeah, and then use this paste or align selected levels, and then with control select the second and the third. If you go to 3D, then I see that you have three levels. As you can see, I will try to select this one and scale it down so take scale and I will grab the midpoint of this choose numerical and I will like scale it like 0.8 and as you can see now select the three of them and hit create form it's a kind of a simple extrusion between those geometries and it's good because you see that this edge the curvature is goes a curvature and all this trade area goes as a, a plane a plane face this one and this one 
and <clears throat> the curvature happened due to the change of the scales that I've done that's give me that curvature so if you didn't intend to make a curvature between the profiles you can just select this and this and then create a form you know like and then this and that and then create another form and that will give you like a straight lines if you look here that's the difference between the two methods right now I'll just select the three of them again and create a form now I can select the top face and I will just rotate it let's say like um, 40 degree and that can give me a nice twisted and curvature facade like this if you can see with this wide area here and wide area here and wide and actually narrow here that's the straight that's actually curvature in the plan itself anyway so for now that's my mass I will just step in and maybe I need a couple of tabs I'll select this and I add divide surface and I will add a pattern here and I will use hexagonal and in it let's see here I have a 50 of this and let's make sure that uh, we have like five here whatever yeah, actually it was better I'll keep it 10 50 by 10 I'll take this one also and I will repeat divide and hexagonal uh, 50 here in the U grid leaving the other to the default of 10 and even you can do them together like this and then you can hit tab and before you select this one you hit control so now you have two of those and add divide and that's if you are lazy to do them one by one it's a good idea to do it together to save some time 